YouTube faithful, what's going on? It is Thursday, Thursday night football, Washington Commanders versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Only a one game NBA slate, so we're not even going to discuss that. Maybe I'll give you something towards the end, but the focus today is going to be a 10 minute quick video for the NFL. Going to try to break down, dissect it and see what we can find. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And then you're going to want to head over to Outlier or wherever it is that you get your data from. Look at the point spread. Philadelphia minus four. I believe it was minus three earlier, but this point total being 49 and a half, it was 48 and a half. They're telling us that it should be a shootout. However, it's a short week. It's a Thursday night game. Historically, they go under. I don't know if I'm buying the shootout narrative, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I really don't know if I'm buying it, but I will tell you this. Everyone in the mother is on the Eagles. And in addition to that, they're on the over. So everyone, this is just, just tells you how human nature is. Everybody wants to see the game go over. 67% of the bets are on the over. And then 63% of the bets are on the Eagles or 70% of the bets are on the Eagles money line. So everybody thinks the Eagles are going to win. Whenever that happens, automatically, if I was going to bet the spreads, which I don't, I would be taking commanders plus four or the commanders straight up money line because I don't want to be where everyone else is. It just always seems to go the way that the public isn't on. But given this point total, we have to respect it. So we're going to have to build lineups based on this 49 and a half point total. I personally don't see it going more unless the only way i see this going more like 50 plus would probably be if the eagles just beat them down but i'm not i dude call me an office crazy but i'm not sold on either of these teams being that good i know their records reflect that they're looking good but i don't buy it i'm sorry i just don't buy it seven and three and seven and two i think they're faking the funk on nasty dunks sometimes your record doesn't reflect how good you really are look at the tampa bay buccaneers our record is poverty right now but not only did we beat the lions we took the Niners to the distance we should have won that game realistically we took the Chiefs into overtime and lost the coin toss same thing with the Falcons I mean and we're doing it with a ragtag group of receivers so it, your record isn't always how good of a team you really are so I, I even though they have good records I just I don't know man that's my personal take you're free to have your own take if you guys think the Philly and if you think Washington and the Eagles are the real deal teams and they're not faking the funk, then let me know in the comments how you feel about that. I'm open to all ideas. Again, that's just my take. Now let's head over to prize picks and look at this thing. Now, if the game is going to be a high point total, you would think that the quarterbacks are going to have higher pass yards than they do, right? 225 and a half and 227 and a half. It don't make sense. But when you got a guy like Jalen Hurts who can get it done on the ground and through the air, they have Saquon in the mix. It's really tough scene to get get them to 225 and a half passing yards unless the game shoots out and if it does shoot out well then my brothers and sisters in Christ he's going to obliterate this line in my opinion now we have to talk about the elephant in the room which is his rush plus receiving TDs okay we have to talk about this last week two one three two he's just been getting it done four weeks straight wagon three six eight he's going to be setting records for the rushing tds as a quarterback we already know all that can he get it done one more night in prime time <sighs> brother like i hate to be this guy man i don't want to be this guy telling you guys to take this play but i don't see any other way around it i'm trying to find a way around it i mean but just look at this Two red zone attempts, four red zone attempts, five red zone attempts, four, three, two, one, five, four. He's just getting all the red zone attempts, man. He's just like, he, some of this is last season, I understand. But just look at this. He's leading the team in red zone rush attempts with 30. And they have Barkley back there. I mean, he's out touching Barkley in the red zone. It's absolute cinema, y'all. So I, I'm telling you, I just don't know how to not take this. I'm, I, if you see a way, the only counter argument to not take this is one, he's due regression, and two, it's a popular play, and we know how that goes. That's the only thing I could think of of why not to take this. Now, the matchup, I guess, if you look at it, versus quarterback, they're they're ranked seventh in touchdowns to opposing quarterbacks on the ground, but that really doesn't mean much to me because a guy like Jalen Hurts is one of a kind. How many quarterbacks are actually rushing in for touchdowns anyway? So that stat is just noise. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is red zone attempts and how many red zone attempts he's getting. And if I see he's leading his team in the red zone, I, I got to take it i'm sorry i'm sorry i gotta take it i don't want to take it i don't love it i don't like but i just gotta do it so 
That's all I got to say about Jalen Hurts. I did like a couple of his other ones. I posted them last night, but they already moved him up, so I'm not even going to waste your time with that. Next, we're going to talk about my favorite receiver on the slate, which is Devontae Smith. Now, last night, his receiving yards was at 52.5. Now they moved it up a crispy three yards to 55.5. What are we doing here? What are we going to do? Well, we're going to attack it still. Don't care. I think his receiving yards, and I also think his fantasy score is in the mix. Now, whenever you take a fantasy score for football even nba but for football you do want to try to calculate on your own well how does he get 11.6 fantasy score well let's break this down he has to get a touchdown that would give him six then he would have to get four catches that would give him 10 including the one that he caught for the touchdown so four catches a touchdown and then 35 yards would cash this line if he gets a touchdown it just automatically gives him so many ways to cash this fantasy line that's the reality of the situation so if there's any any way you think Devontae Smith gets a touchdown today, you got to have exposure to his fantasy score. Yes, you could take the anytime touchdown demon straight up and get a bonus payout for that, but that only limits you to a touchdown where his fantasy score, technically there's a path he gets there without getting a touchdown. He would need six catches and 60 yards to catch to cash this fantasy line without a touchdown and that's totally doable absolutely he could get that with no touchdown i could see it so that's why you would want to take something like this if you didn't want to take the bump at 52 uh the three yard bump on 55 i'm sure you can find it on sleeper or chalkboard at 52.5 still they they will probably just make you pay a little bit of juice and something you can see right here it's Devonte smith's birthday november 14th it is his birthday today Y'all know Captain Crush loves a good narrative, so maybe they try to get him in the box for his birthday. I mean, the team knows it's his birthday. Maybe it means nothing. I usually like that narrative more in the NBA because in the NBA, you can control your usage. You can go get the ball. The NFL, you still got to get your number called. But check this out. His line is low because of the matchup. The matchup is not good. 16 to wide receivers, but overall, they're ranked number five. But I don't care. This is the play of the day. Devontae Smith at 52.5 receiving yards. If you can find it that is what you're going to want to take if you want to eat the bump at 55.5 i think that's fine too he just has too high of upside his floor is literally like i would say with this i would say his floor is literally like 40 at this point okay so if you wanted to take it you could do that but honestly y'all the man cooks 50 targets but aj brown remember was injured so was dallas goddard but he still leads in the targets 22% target share. Again, the matchup isn't ideal, but keep in mind, I'm not a fan of the Washington defense. I think that they're faking the funk. I think that they didn't play anybody that was really anything special. And if you go look, look, you tell me, Papa, you tell me. They played the Bucks. They got shelled, okay? They played the Giants. They won. They played the Bengals. They won. They played the Cardinals. They won. They played the Ravens. They got beat. They played the Browns. They won. They played the Panthers. They won. They played the Bears. They won. Steelers, they got beat. They beat the Giants again, and now they're playing the Eagles. So let me ask you, who have they really played? They played the Ravens. They lost. They played the Bucks. They lost. And then the Bengals, the Bengals have been abysmal all season. They just can't figure it out. But I would still take the Bengals over the Commanders. So I'm not buying this narrative that the Commanders are just an elite team. I don't buy it. I don't care. I don't buy it, man. They played the Giants twice? Like, what? And they barely beat them. Look at this. September 15th, they won by three. And then over here, they won by five. Get out of here. You barely beat the Giants. I don't buy it. The Eagles are in a prime spot to lay the pipe down on these guys. And I'm going with it. And if they sell, they sell. Give me Devontae Smith on his birthday. Play of the day. Book it. Ship it. Screenshot it. Whatever you got to do. If he sells, don't care. I'll hold my L. I ain't getting off him. And I'm not pausing. No, you can't make me pause. Now, there's a flip-flop. There always is. There's always a flip-flop to this and his name is AJ Brown and he's one of the most elite receivers in our game today. Do I think you could go to AJ Brown? Absolutely, but his line was at 84.5. Now they moved it down to 82.5. So if you want to go there, you could. Am I personally going there? No, I'm taking Devontae Smith because I think AJ Brown is going to get extra attention today. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but that's that, guys, okay? I'm not going to go into too much detail on AJ Brown. He's a stud, he's elite. If you want to take him, you can. I chose the easier path which is Devonte smith who also has the fact that it's his birthday everybody feels good on their birthday feel good play good that's just how it is 
Uh, hopefully he gets it done for us tonight. Now, on the other side of that ball, you got a man who used to play for the Eagles way back when. This was maybe before some of y'all young heads' time. Zach Ertz. I think you could target him today as well. I think he is in the mix. The question is, what do you target? Well, my gut is telling me his longest reception, his fantasy score. Look at this. He had two games versus Pittsburgh and the Giants where he didn't get close. 7-1, but 14-14-10. They do like to use him. Maybe they go back to him today maybe they don't but i do think his fantasy score is in play but i also think this combo is pretty good dallas and zach 65 and a half receiving yard combo i think that is the one now i wouldn't be anchoring this what's an anchor cap means you put it in multiple slips or lineups i think maybe one to two max but i do like this i think your primary thing today would be to find your two or three favorite nfl plays and one nba play and make a four man or two and two i think that is the optimal path to a green bean night it's just a matter of finding two nba plays finding two NFL plays and go with it. I'm giving you Devontae Smith's receiving yards or his fantasy score as one of those. Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown as another. That could be your two NFL plays. You wouldn't need any of the commander's side and then you could go take two NBA plays if you can find them. Or you could go with someone like Zach Ertz or you could go with Jaden Daniels. Or heck, you could even take the receiving combo of Devontae Smith and Noah Brown at 94.5 because someone like Devontae Smith could get 80 any given Sunday. So this would be all of a sudden would be in play. Noah Brown's line is at 40 and a half. He's been getting it done. 33, 60, 73. In fact, he's someone I wouldn't mind targeting outright. Now, I want to talk about Jaden Daniels right quick. He is someone that has elite rushing upside. I understand that. But look at his rush attempts. Seven and a half. He hasn't been going over nine rush attempts. I've been taking it. And the fact is this. When they don't line up in victory formation, that does take away a lot of his rushing attempt equity. And I don't think they're lining up in victory formation tonight. So I do believe you can take less here and the fact that it's seven and a half on other books is fine too. And then also his rushing yards at 44.5. I think less is good there. You can see he's 42 here, 43, 41. We're getting a three yard equity boost by taking it less on prize picks. I think that's fine too. I'm not in love with any of that. But I do think if you're looking, you have to make plays from the other side. I think this is where you would want to go. Okay, something like that. Or then remember, Zach Ertz, that combo. But the primary ones for me, once again, let me be clear is going to be Devontae Smith, his receiving yards, or his fantasy score. And we've already explained, I've already explained how he gets both of these done. And then the Jalen Hurts most popular play in America anytime touchdown. And I explained why I like that. Again, I hate having to take that. I promise you I hate having to take it, but I got no choice. My hands are handcuffed. I'm tied. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about it, comment guy. It is what it is. If he sells, he sells. If you want to fade it, make sure you just take Devontae Smith. Then you can choose any of those commanders on the other side. And then another thing thing that I wanted to look at was the Jake Elliott. This is being juiced all over the industry. I'm not exactly sure why. I know the commanders haven't given up field goals. I know the Eagles have a tush push and they tend to go for it on fourth, but it's a primetime game and I still was like, man, of, he, of course he's going to get two field goals, but the books say no, they're juicing it under. So that is just something worth considering. But I think what you could do is take Elliott seven and a half kicking points less as well. I think, I mean, these are just like darts. If you're trying to make a five or six leg parlay and you're trying to get you know have a fun night get your action in. maybe something like that that would be fine I mean it's weird they don't have a longest field goal for this matchup which is totally weird they always do for the primetime games they already have them up for Sunday but not for tonight I mean that signals to me something's up I don't I don't really understand it I don't realize it but whatever I just wanted to run that by you guys and let you guys know now the last thing that I need to discuss is Brian Robinson okay the Eagles have a mean lean run defense they don't give up a lot of yards on the ground however brian robinson 45 and a half rush yards has to be considered now he's coming back from injury but he just gets fed 65 71 18 101 33 forget all that because those matchups were bad what i did with mr robinson was this let's see if it's still there his line last night was 47.5 and the demon was 49.5 which it still is today so because of that, I took the demon at 49 and a half because last night it was only a two point differential. Now it's a four point differential. 
I don't really believe the value is there like that anymore. And on top of that, Eckler has been filling in while he's out and he's been doing a swell job. So if you're going to take Brian Robinson today, and I know a lot of people in the Discord already got it, I would literally say limit him to one to two max right now because I just, like I said, even last night, I don't know if he's going to be limited. I'm assuming he's going to be ready for a full go, but anything can happen. And if they do get game scripted out somehow, I don't want to be the guy that Brian Robinson's making or breaking my night. No, my night will be decided by Devontae Smith. And that is that. So now I need to tell you something. Yesterday, I reverted back to NBA fantasy scores. Unfortunately, that video got out late. A lot of people didn't see it, but it was a pure sweep. Get the brooms because I sweat. And I will show you the ones that were on the YouTube. Zay gets buckets. Does this get me on the tube? Yeah, buddy, you made you made the tube. Congratulations, bud. You're in the mix. But this part of the video is going to be called trusting the process. Why? Because everyone has a bad day and then seems to forget or vice versa. I'm, I'm not really sure what it is, but guys, you have to trust the process, okay? Now, here was one of my lineups yesterday. Mathurin, Brown, Wagner, DeRozan, who got rebooted, and Boston. All of these were talked about on the YouTube except for Brandon Boston. I left him out of the mix. He was green and had six turnovers, so he hooked, and then the game blown out, he got pulled. Otherwise, he would have been green. This would have been $400, okay? But remember when I told you guys what to do with these discounts? If you would have taken LeBron and Schroeder's discounts and double dipped with their goblins, you would have doubled up 2.25x the taco strategy that I said on the other video. It works. It didn't work with Brunson because he had a bad night, but it worked with LeBron and Dennis Schroeder, didn't it? That is why you need to trust the process and just let it play itself out. Here's another one I had. Franz, Garland, Mikel Bridges, Dennis Schroeder, DeMar Reboot, and Boston. As you can see, I had Boston anchored. My model loved him. I loved him. He just had six turnovers, and that is, you know, you can't predict six turnovers. I had him predicted for 2.8. And if he gets 2.8, well, then he's going to be green. So that hurt me. But there are people that went straight from the YouTube, which was, let me, I'm trying to find it. But while I'm looking for that, take a look at Faceless. He did exactly what I tell people to do. Break them down into two mans. He had Jalen Brown's fan. He had all the stuff you could do. The PRA, the fantasies broken down into two mans. That is the best way to be successful. Mr. HB90, use the method that I tell you guys about. Combine the discounts with their goblins, LeBron and Schroeder. And he did the same thing here. He made himself 50 bucks his max is 25 that's it 50 bucks he follows the method and that is it it's that simple with these discounts it doesn't matter if it doesn't work one day if, if they're putting out six or seven discounts a week this is the best way to do it just get your double up and move on and here it is right here i knew he went straight from the youtube mathurin wagner dort shy brown and derozan this was yesterday's youtube video right here six of them. DeRozan got rebooted. You can't do it. All you had to do, you don't even, you didn't even need to be in the Discord. Just watch the YouTube and you would have made 10x if you just went down and put them all in. If you break them down into smaller lineups, two, three, you would have had a Nagasaki night. Now, I had this exact lineup, except instead of uh, Dort, I put in Brandon Boston as my run back with Alexander. I should have just double stacked them, but I have no regrets on Boston. He had six turnovers. I should have had a Nagasaki night. I should have made 3K or more yesterday. Instead, I made a lot of double ups, maybe like three or 400 bucks with two X's on five of six and four of five. I'm totally fine with that. The point is trust the process. And then in addition to that, the second half method that I teach, I taught it again yesterday. Josh Hart, Derek White second half slip cash it jaron jackson anthony davis second half slip cash it and then the other one jackson davis aldama pippen cash that i teach this method everybody should know it now i went over it again in the live stream make sure you are there now to get in the mix the projections the lineups the live streams and everything else captaincrush.net gold package this is how you get in the discord people are always asking how do you get in this is how it's linked to the dub club just go right there the gold package it'll get you in and i do run the live streams today's live stream is going to be earlier we'll be making that community slip i have obligations tonight so today's live stream will probably be around 3 30 or 4 o'clock central time i'll keep you guys updated but you will get your money's worth being in the court okay regardless of what anyone wants to say regardless of the little haters somebody was asking is this an i told you so discord or something the other day because we were going over the fantasy scores at the end of the night no dude but i like to recap the night win lose or draw i don't just bury it under the rug if, whether it's a good night or a bad night i go back and see is there anything that i missed so let's transition over to the nba right quick this video is probably going to be like 16 minutes i said it was going to be 10 i sold you but hey, it ain't the first time Captain Crush has sold you. Let's keep it a buck. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Comment guy. Look at Luca. 
38.5 you know that's going to be popping some value and then you got Kyrie less 10 ra you could take either one of these gents right out of the gate or the luka marketing combo of 50 and a half if you're looking for some value here is my issue with this utah is going to get blown out of the gym nine out of ten times in my opinion i hope i'm wrong but i don't think i'm gonna be wrong i think they're just gonna get slack so in fact news is coming down the pike because now they're not even on the board anymore so you're gonna have to wait for that we'll discuss it in the live stream is Kyrie's 10 ra still up nope they took that off too man they are they are doing cinematography things maybe the play is to take Devonte smith and an nba and jalen hurts and an nba gabby maybe that's the move i don't know but i'll tell you this tomorrow for flex friday i'm going right Right back like I did yesterday's video for the fantasy score breakdown it's gonna be four to six NBA fantasy plays tomorrow we're gonna calculate it live using the fantasy point per minute tool we're gonna do it on this video live and I'm gonna continue to do it and that is how we're just gonna do things around here because people seem to like it you all like it I'm a man of the people I do what the people want now if you want to do me a favor please hit that like button i hate asking for likes it's cringy i don't want to be that guy i personally couldn't care less about likes on anything videos or anything but these algorithms that these big tech company use that's how they determine what's going to be shown to other people so the more likes the more they recommend this video to other people so i really do appreciate it i know you guys don't have to do it so i do appreciate you doing it it's not lost on me i really am thankful for each and every one of you even my haters you guys whatever man i i love everybody equally i i love y'all anyways because that's just the type of guy that i am you guys keep me going in the morning my hate if i didn't have haters well then what then, I, then i'd be a nobody wouldn't i i mean i'm still not important but you know what i mean you gotta have haters if you don't then whatever you must be doing something wrong so hopefully Hopefully, the play of the day, Devontae Smith gets it done for us. If he doesn't, is he banned? No, he's not banned. He ain't banned. We don't ban people around here. Well, there's an exception to every rule. Hopefully, I see you in the court. If you're new to the court, introduce yourself. This guy, Reggie, introduced himself and said, Is this I told you so, Discord? Now he, now he met me and he knows who I am. Here's the salute. Good luck in all your contests. And as always, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let's crush.